Okay, so I'm here. I made it. And it's very quiet. Springtime in the forest. Just me in the woods. All right, I gotta get my tent set up before the sun goes down. Set up some campage and uh, get into it. All right. I got a really big can uh, tent. You guys will see. I freaking love it. It's like a little. Uh, it's like a little mansion. My little chateau in the forest. I know what you must be thinking. James, that's a lot of stuff. Well, I'd like to stay for a while. Also, I didn't notice, but I put my camera right next to a bunch of... <laughs> I'm noticing a lot of droppings. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe there's more deer around here than I thought there were. Not that I'm sure that that's deer droppings. I've seen deer droppings in videos, but I'm noticing two different kinds of droppings here. Maybe, I don't know. I don't care to guess. Okay, you're looking good. So last time I used this tent, I didn't clean it off so wonderfully and I had to leave in a rush. And hopefully, yeah, this is like, I was kind of worried about this. There's still moisture in here. So I'm hoping my tent doesn't stink. It might've been a big mistake. Looks like we're pretty set up. Okay. <laughs> My camera looks so crooked right now, but maybe it's alright. Um, I know I'm losing light here, so this video probably looks ridiculous. makes me tweak out. I just like don't eat all day. Just concentrating on driving for four hours and now that I'm here and I'm finally set up, I need to just calm my nerves. But I'm happy and uh, I'm here. And down on the, the rest of the property there's probably a few running streams. I can't wait to hike tomorrow. Oh my god. So I've only perused the property fully once the, the, the time I came and looked at it with the realtor. And then the second time I was here, it was the first time I was camping. The first time I camped by myself, ever, too. Um, and I explored a little bit, but I was a little nervous because I was all alone out here. But there's a fern spot that, I've been, that I saw the first time I was here with the realtor, Tammy. So this time, I gotta find the fern. It's like a little clearing, just full of ferns. That's what it was when I saw it. I don't know if it's gonna have the ferns back. This forest is awesome. Kind of magical. The moon's out now. I gotta get a fire going and get the suit made. Got my rocks from my old stove. Figure something out with these again. 
anyway, it is definitely night. It is uh, still fine. It's still temperate. I'm still in my t-shirt. The moon is out. The crickets are roaring. A few waves of wind coming through every now and then. I had this piece of uh, birch laying over there by the old campsite. And it's crazy, six months later, it seems exactly the same. It's still pavery. I thought, when I first picked it up, it felt maybe like it was decrepit or whatever, but it's fine. I mean, it's built to last. Let's give it a shot. Well. So you might be thinking, you should probably set up your stones before you start the fire, Jim. And I suppose I'd agree with you. I cannot believe that birch bark. Ow! My finger! Oh, can you guys believe this? What do you guys think of my rock setup? <laughs> wow, no way. What do you think? Could this fire... Should this fire... Does this fire need a leaf? I think this fire needs my pot. It settles right in there. That's dope. Looks a little bit like an altar. Like a uh Right, rather. So, if this was a shrine, what would it be for? Not soup. Not an altar shrine for soup. It would be a shrine of gratitude to the forest. Gratitude to the forest? Yes, I said it. I need it. Maybe it needs me. Maybe I could bring something to it. More than just a configuration of rocks. Once you guys see the fern spot, then, uh, then you'll get an idea of some of the possibilities. I think I'll kill my fire with this. Morning, guys. I miss my cat. So I have my little light hanging from the ceiling. It's called the Waka Waka. I love it. It's got a solar panel on it. But I had it on for hours and hours yesterday. <coughs> and this morning I see this blinking green light on it. And I thought maybe, oh, is it almost dead? But then I was like, it's a blinking green light. And then I realized it's charging. There's enough solar energy coming into my tent that I could charge my device. It's just charging it passively without me even setting it up in the sun, which is pretty cool. So what am I going to do today? I'm going to explore. Well, let's 
go hiking. I was looking for it, and I found it. Do you see what I see? Look at that thing, guys. Not only is that one there, there's another one that fell off. Look at that. Crazy. Anyway, hopefully you guys dig that as much as I do. I'm happy it was still here. I knew it would be. That is a piece of very green wood. Is it not, folks? Look. Regular colored wood. Green wood. Super green. Looks like it was painted. It's got the lichen on the top. It's got this great shape. It's the perfect height. And it has this radical little red fungus or mold right there. Just this tiny dot. The gloriousness. You know? Just stuck his head out. See him? He's very curious. I thought they were also super scared. Gone. What fungus, guys? What's that? Is that a baby turkey tail? Trametis versicolor? Or is it something else? I'm just saying the name of the only one I know. Look at this. Funky. Oh, look at this one. Here's my finger for scale. no color, but they do have the stripes and the paperiness of Versicolor. I guess I should look for the um, pores underneath, but I don't really want to touch too much fungus. <laughs> now I know why Alfie rocks gloves. <laughs> What species, guys? My finger for scale. Kind of fuzzy leaves. Looks almost like cactus up close. Little spike in the middle, curled leaf. What is that? I forgot that there's a stream over here. I forgot that I was even looking for it. I was hoping it would be running, and sure enough, there's some water in here. It looks, this looks does not look like anything, I'm sure to you guys. But look, there's some running water. Check it out. This is like a legit stream. Look, it's like a legit waterfall. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Like a tree seed that fell in the water. 
and it's germinating. Or it looks like it's germinating, at least. Sorry. Let's see if I can grab it. Let's take a peek. Yeah, look at that. It's like bloated. Maybe this tree will have me to thank for its life. Because I imagine that's too much water if it stays in there. But if I just toss it out up there, then maybe it'll grow. That's one twisted piece of wood. Don't you think? It's also a broken piece of wood. I was kind of faking it. Chipmunk hunting. favorite pastime. This looks like signs of a chipmunk party. I don't really know, but looks like they crack these open. Oh, dude, that's a, that's bugs. Oh, man. I thought these things were one, two, three. I thought those, those were the insides of these things. But that's got a wing right next to it. And a leg. Gnarly. Maybe that's what chipmunks eat. Some kind of funky beetle bugs. Doesn't that sound like a machine? I think this is a fiddlehead. I've seen some videos on this puppy. But I'm not sure. So, I'm not gonna eat it. Guys, so I'm just following the water down. And there's two streams flowing here. Look, converging down there. My iPhone's not doing it justice, of course. Well, this is awesome. Guys, I don't even know if I'm still on my, my property, but this is amazing. Okay, so remember the big mushroom I found earlier? The two big mushrooms? It looks like these are small versions of that same species, but of course, I don't know. This was the first one I noticed. The third one I didn't even notice the first time. Very cool. Check it out. Since I'm looking for the fern spot and I see some ferns, I'm thinking maybe I'm close. But I realized that they were kind of smushed over. I was like, are these even connected? And they are, but I saw a twig kind of smushing them. But more importantly, check it out. The fiddleheads, I forgot. The fiddleheads are actually baby ferns. They unfurl into ferns. And then there's a flying spider hanging on my head, I think. Oh my god. Anyway, so yeah, those fiddleheads are totally edible, as far as I know. So, I grabbed these two. I guess I'll save them for later and toast them over the fire, or in my pot, see how they taste. I'm pretty excited. I think this is like something's home, or some nest. I see a lot of, uh, feathers here. So I originally thought it was maybe a bird's nest, but then I thought maybe Maybe there's a snake in there. 
and he's eating birds. It's pretty rad. I don't know if that's a disease or I guess a woodpecker. I thought woodpeckers did spirals and stuff, but maybe there's different kinds. Or maybe this is from something small, like a termite. I can't tell you. What's that? Is that man made or animal made or what? Is that a woodpecker? Cause that's pretty gnarly. But maybe that's how it works. Fuzzy leaves again. Is that the same as earlier? Just a later stage of development? Here's my finger. I almost thought it was a plantain at first and then I knew that I was noobing it. Here's a funky little species. Finger for scale. Look at this amazing wavy burliness on this dead tree. I think I finally found what I'm looking for. OMG. The ferns are dead. The clearing is clear. The only slightly unnerving thing about the fern spot. <laughs> Yikes. That came from a big animal, man. Is that a deer bone? And what got it then? A wolf. I don't see any other bones around there. Check it out, guys. Plenty of room for a home and garden and solar panels and a wind turbine. This is awesome. Home and garden? Guys? Anyone out there? Does anyone protest to James taking uh, taking up a little homestead in this spot here? Nobody? I think the forest will welcome me. I am ecstatic to find this spot again. If Man. Oh yeah, so I guess I don't have to worry about buying any bone meal to supplement my soil. I see. Home sweet home. Can you imagine how that got stuck there? I mean, that's ridiculous. So, I kind of noobed it, noobed it up. I did, forgot to bring food when I was hiking earlier. So I came back, I had to keep, come back kind of early. I was planning on hiking more than I did, really. Hmm. All right, well. Here goes nothing.
next one a little longer. And I'm going to spit the rest of this out. Definitely a little bitter. It wasn't horrific. Just not good enough to swallow. Good enough to chew up. Interesting enough to chew up. Maybe cooking them longer boils out the bitterness. This is fun. Even if I don't like it, I don't care. It's cool to taste the forest, you know. I imagine there's different species of ferns. I don't think there's just like one fern, but I don't know. If so, then maybe there's different fiddlesticks. <laughs> Fiddleheads. Still pretty f firm. Doesn't cook that easy. And the first taste is like I can't even place it. It tastes a little bit like some other vegetable. I feel like, and then it turns really bitter. Wow. Super green spit. Anyway, fun experiment. Don't think I'll try them again. Who knows? Check it out, guys. Some sap. Goopy. So I'm going to do an experiment with it. And uh, test it as a fuel. Basically, I'm going to make a little match. This is the matchstick. So, let's take this first goop. Goopy and loopy. And I'm just going to kind of scoop it up. Cool. And some of these. Sorry if it's shaky, guys, but... Get the goop. Cause the goop is gonna teach you to scoop. Oh wow, it's super goopy. Look at the goop. That's a freaking eye for sure. Oh, pretty decent match. Howza! Whoa. It, uh, went out, I guess. <laughs> the frick? Hmm. Hmm. Let's burn more sap. Uh oh. It's starting to rain. Hopefully it's just another two second drizzle. <laughs> Pretty uh, cool way to start a fire, I'd say. Kind of getting rained out right now. It's nice, like, hanging out in this little porch area. I feel like any moment it could just stop. It's the way it's been. I don't mind hanging out in the tent, though. I love my tent. And it doesn't stink. It's totally fine. Thankfully, I had the towel, most important item in the galaxy. The rain stopped. And it looks a little sunnier. 
Okay, so the rain totally didn't stop. But it is nice and sunny out. Alright folks, what is that? Because it looks like a big animal's poop. Here's my finger again for scale. Uh, is that wolf poop? That's not bear shit, is it? Maybe it's human shit. Maybe it's my own shit. Major creosote build up on the bottom of my pan, my pot. It's like super sticky. I guess I could try this. It looks all right to me. It was on a rock. Came up easy.
So this moss might not have been the best choice because it doesn't stick together very well. <laughs> this thing is a mess. There's the big daddy mushroom. I think I can use that as a marker. I just turn and go downhill here. And I think that takes me back to the field. Seen about a billion and a half. Insane. I think I need to adjust. Anyway, I've seen about a billion and a half spider webs, like full perfect spider webs with the spider sitting there right in the middle, waiting for its prey. Luck out here. There she is. Let's get in it. Home sweet home. Oh, and <laughs> bone sweet bone. <laughs> I actually think I might really use this bone. Should have brought shorts. Okay. Time to quite literally break ground. Perfect day for it. There she is. I was expecting to be rocky. have the heaviest pants on for this day. I love them to death, but I need shorts. <laughs> we don't want to hurt this little guy. I don't think I've seen one of these before. Funky, right? Funky little sprouts below it. Hmm. Love my gloves. All right. A little bit of charcoal. leaves toss the salad
it, guys. Who's gonna grow some radishes? And the special ingredient? I crushed up that bone. Look at the marrow. It stinks. Mush it around though. Pastiness. Oh god. Shouldn't do this. My poor gloves that I love so much. Well, hopefully the radishes like it. Poof. That stuff stinks. It smells like uh when you have stinky sports gear that you haven't washed, that you just like kind of put in a bag. Oh boy. Hopefully something doesn't take this up. Now I'm a little worried actually. Now that I think of it, some animal's gonna smell that. Come a digging. I'm just trying to get a little bit more soil into the mix here. I'm trying, experimenting. Let's plant some seeds. Seedage. I need more soil. What do you guys think of my ridiculous little tiny bed? Gotta start somewhere, right? Last but not least. Some water from the stream. Tiny bit more dirt on top to protect that water from the sun so it doesn't just evaporate. 30 days from today. Today is April 4th, April, no, May 4th. Alright, nothing perfect about it, nothing perfect about nature, nothing perfect about me. Let's just wait and see. Good morning, guys. Have a nice breakfast and then break camp. Well guys, that's it for this one. Episode zero. <sighs> we'll see. Anyway. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. I'm out.